All right, which side do you like more? The Jedi and the Republic or the droid? The dark side girl. Then General Grievous would probably be your best choice. So why don't you go over there and I'll go over here. And if somebody else comes along, we'll just throw them into the madness, right. but I'll explain the game pretty much here. The nice thing about Star Wars Legion is that there is no math. Okay. Um, it's just rolling dice and using symbols. Over here on this side, you are in control of General Grievous um, and his Magna Guards. You have some droids of varying sizes and abilities, and of course, the big tank. Over here, the Republic has some clones, General Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, the edgy man himself, over there. They're gonna be attacking you and you'll be attacking back. Now, the way that the game works is that it's alternating activation. Basically, um, think of it as chess. You move a piece, I move a piece. We'll be moving pieces back and forth. Okay. Um, and then as we go and fight, you'll be using the dice to your right okay. to basically do all your actions and see what happens. It's a dice game, it's up okay. to chance. Now, to jump you right in, you see those four cards? Would you be so kind as to grab them? Basically, we each get a command hand. This command hand has the following. On the top left, you have your priority for what goes first. The higher the number, of course, the better. So, uh, or sorry, higher and from one to four. Okay. Um, you'll notice though, that the higher the priority, the less units you get to activate. Um, a three, you get to activate more, but you're gonna probably go second in the first draw. This game is all about action economy, where it's like, do I wanna go first? or do I want to activate more but not go first? Now, the way that these cards work is they're one-time use. Once you use them, that's it. They're gone. Now, the reason why you want to activate these units is because if you don't activate them like this, it's random draw from your pile. So you have no idea what you're going to be getting. You could be getting something you don't want right now, or I can guarantee that at some point in my turn, I will use that unit because I've chosen it by this. Okay. So that's the first decision we do in the turn. Now, I'll let you think. Do you want to go first or do you want to activate more? What are, you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Go with your gut, Commander. Go with okay, your gut. Go home. Let's go first. <laughs> All right, you're going to go first. So we secretly pick a card. Okay. I have picked mine. You pick one. Put it face down. Whichever one you'd like to go for. You're shut. Total, just, you know, chaos, whatever draws, right? Here we go, three, two, one, reveal. So I went for assault, you went for ambush, so you will go first. Okay. Now, since you'll go first, we pick up our tokens. Every card has a symbol and rules. You can play this whole game just from the cards alone. Okay. Now, what you gotta think now is, who do you want to activate 100%? Like, you know, I need to have them be something I need at any moment, whether it's the tank, Grievous, some droids, what are you feeling? Feeling like I need the tank at any moment. At any moment. That you know whenever you need it, okay. you can always activate it. Okay. The rest of this, if you'd be so kind, just randomly shuffle them up together and keep them in a... Actually, I'll make your life easy as our guest here. Go ahead and just drop them in there and shake them up and you'll be fine. Because I only brought one bag, of course. I have okay. foresight. <laughs> so, you've gone first. Now, okay. the nice thing about this is you don't have to go with him. Okay. You can choose to random draw at this point. You know that you will go first. So we can go with the tank, or we can go with a random draw. And we've drawn, let's we'll see the other symbol. That's a triangle. We compare it. So that little triangle matches up to your battle droids. You have two options. You have these battle droids in cover over here by these rocks, and you have these super battle droids over there on the right side. Which one do you think you'd rather activate? You have to pick one. Oh, my gut is saying those guys, mm -hmm. but I like those guys too. The, uh, little, the little ones. The B1s. Let's go the B1. <laughs> activate the B1. So we're gonna activate the B1. Okay. Now here's how this game works. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you how to read the card. Okay. Obviously, the name, a cute little picture. These are your special abilities. We're not gonna worry about them because we're learning the game. Yeah. Under here though is the main thing, how you kill people. So, this and this. If you see a little red circle, that's a melee attack. You gotta be in close combat. If you see blue circles with a range band, everything is proprietary. One, two, three. Okay. So, maximum range on that blaster is three. Why don't you come over here and we'll measure. Take your stick, measure from the model, each model, to the closest unit you want to attack, whatever you want to attack. We're gonna go here. 
<laughs> you gonna go into the tank? Yeah. All right. Now the tank's a tough target. Uh, no. You may not, not be able to scratch the paint. How about, maybe. How about one of these guys? These you guys could maybe go for the speeder. Okay. The speeder might be a good idea, or maybe the guys out in the open. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna take care of these guys. The guys out in the open. Yeah. Okay, you're totally within range. Okay. You're within the second range band. Simple dumb. No need for rulers. No need for measure. Is it 16 inches or 15 inches? It's just it's a <laughs> it's stick. It's within range. Okay, yeah. So good. <clears throat> let's go back over there. Okay. Now there are let's count them six droids. Each droid has a blaster, and they get a white attack dice. This little D8. So if you'd be so kind as to please grab six of those. Oh, six. Because it's one for each guy. Now before you roll, okay. to further elucidate, to further complicate the game, every unit has two actions. You can do shooting, you can do moving, you could dodge to avoid getting hurt as bad, or since you're a killer, you can do aim. When you aim, you get to re-roll some misses. So, do you want to attack then move? Do you want to dodge and fire? Do you want to fire and whatever? What are you feeling? What, what is your plan here? Let's attack and move. You're going to attack and move? Yeah. So you're going to reposition after you shoot, so no aiming. Okay. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and shoot. Alright, so, it's pretty self-explanatory. This starburst is a hit. Good. This funny little symbol is called a surge. We just have to confirm with our card Here's a card with Surge, funny little symbol. Here's a card without Surge, which means in your case, unfortunately, nothing special happens. A Surge is usually, you're oh. really good at fighting. Okay. So you get two hits. Okay. Now, if these guys had been shot from this direction, this would have been in the way. They would have gotten cover. They would have gotten to ignore one of your hits. Since they don't, they just got to save. So I'm going to go ahead and save for them. They get two save dice. So, they don't get a funny little special symbol, I know that for a fact, okay. but they do get this save, so that means only one clone trooper psh, ah, is killed. Ah, darn it. But now you get to move. Okay. You said you wanted to move. Yeah. Where do you want to go? Um, hmm. Moving was a bad idea. Can't move over there, right? Where, you can, where, I, where can I move? You can move in any direction. Oh. And again, everything's proprietary. In the card, you see right here, these two little jelly beans, these red jelly beans. This is your speed. Okay. Two speed, two speed. Ah. So, you take one leader unit, let's say for example this droid, and you measure from him in any direction. After you set them down, everyone assembles in a gaggle around them. You're only measuring for one model. One per, okay. So. Okay, okay. we're gonna all move here. And you move them there from that end to, exactly. Okay. And now you can take that off and then just do a little, like, two inch gaggle around him. Simple as pie. I am the commander. I am looking. <laughs> we'll set you up front, buddy. So the droids reposition. And every unit gets two actions. And there you go. Now I'm going to return fire to you. Uh, no. Because it's not a recorded game without <laughs> there being a bit of carnage on both sides. So, okay. what I'm going to do is since I activated with this assault, I get to pick three units that I want to for sure Z's go. Um, I am a stone cold killer, so I'm gonna activate, or I'm gonna nominate Obi-Wan. I'm gonna nominate Anakin Skywalker. And I'm gonna activate or nominate the tank. So I know for a fact that they will always go at, at whatever point I want. I don't have to activate them right now though. And I think, I think I am going to activate them, though. We're going to activate Anakin Skywalker because he's full of anger. Um, so he's going to go. I confer with my card. I look at Anakin Skywalker's card. I see that he has a two speed. So I go ahead and measure from him. I put my little tool down. And I'm going to go ahead and move him once. And now I'm going to think, hmm, where do I want to go? Let's go ahead and engage these Magna Guards. I know I'm within range, so I charge. Now that I've charged, I look to see what kind of weapon he has. Anakin's lightsaber is gonna be, let's count that, five red dice. So I count it up. I roll my five red dice. That's pretty brutal. <laughs> so, now, 
<laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. Your Magna Guards are elite anti-Jedi. They're like, nope, you're not touching me. Jedi weapons, lightsabers have a thing called pierce. It's like an immediate, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna start hurting. You're immune to pierce because, you know, Magna Guards. So, <laughs> instead of that, you're just gonna do regular saves. These guys are pretty tanky. So, let's go ahead and check your card. Your Magna Guards, their save is this cube. So it's a red cube, red D6, and you were hit five times. So we grab five of these dice, one for each hit that went through, and now let's see what symbols you get. That's pretty good. Now, there's no surge, which is fine, but that means that only two, because this would convert to nothing, go through. How much health do they have, that little green plus right there? Uh, two. Which means only one dies. So Anakin Skywalker, for all his blunder and bluff, didn't do a lot. <clears throat> and since I took up all my actions doing that attack, that's all I can do. And I don't know if you guys are wandering around being a, a very popular production. <laughs> that is a round of Star Wars Legion in a sense. If you'd like to play more, you're more than welcome to, but I don't want to keep you either if you guys that have other places to go. That was a lot of fun. I no, love for sure. the interaction and the pieces are, I'm a mini maker, so I are you? love, yes, I cool. love all of this. The yeah, no, for sure. There's this a is, lot of detail that goes into this. These are beautiful. No, for sure. This game is definitely a Star Wars nerd's dream. Yeah. And like, you can just have the army of your dreams. And yeah. it's. It's good, it's easily affordable, it's easy to learn, as you saw. I mean, I've sold this to you know, kids as young as 12 and people as old as 40, 50, whatever. Everyone it, loves Star Wars. Every, every, everybody does love it. If exactly. they don't, they're wrong. They, um, exactly. So when you set up the tabletop, <clears throat> yeah. you can, can you place everything wherever you want? Are there you know, suggested For sure. Places? The game has cards okay. that tell you the deployment map, okay. what you can put where, um, it tells you the table size. This is a standard sized game, which is good. A lot of games that you may even see just over here, six by three, six by four feet, this is just a four by four or that three by four. That could be a four. little overwhelming. Especially for a new player. Um, you don't need to have as much terrain or as many models. Um, and it even tells you what mission you want. Right now, this is just a kill each other situation, but you can do anything from escorting a hostage to defusing a bomb. And it's a fun little game where you just, you know, you have your big characters fight. Or if you want to just be the schmucks, you know, the clones and droids fighting it out, you can. So this game was pretty big. Yeah. Um, there are lots of pieces. There Let's are. say I can't afford everything on this board. How would I go about accumulating? For sure. So if you're looking at this game with like the idea of, I can't sink $100. The starter sets are $120. Now, let's look at it just from that standpoint. If you and I really love Star Wars, that's 60-60, yeah. and we're done. We can Which, split that. For, for a game of this caliber, um, that's a great starting yeah. point. Because some, most games will ask you to spend 100 plus, 150 plus. For $60, you and I have two forces and we can play no problem. And it brings the dice, it brings the measuring tools, and it brings the cards. And if you think about a video game, yeah. I'm already paying 60, 70 bucks. For so a video for that, game. you've already just started that already. Yeah, MSRP. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of other options, I always recommend people Tabletop Simulator as a video game that you can get on Steam. You can download the models for free. The game itself can go regularly on sale for $10. Oh, wow. If you are someone who has a lot of friends around the country, around the world, or maybe they just don't have a local place to play, I recommend it for any game. Not even just this. Tabletop Simulator is your best friend. Now, locally, if you want to play with us meatbags, um, Discover Games, which I'm representing, uh, down in Fayetteville, Georgia, is uh, kind of our local friendly gaming store on the south side of Atlanta. Um, we play this in every other game. Legion has a big audience. Even if you're just like, I don't know if I like this game, can I try it? Everyone there is so friendly, myself included, I would like to think. Um, they will just be like, yeah, sure. We'll play. Let's I'll get you an army together. together. Let's just play, see if you like it. And if you do, then we'll go from there. We have stocking stuff, you know, over there as well. And we're usually running a sale or something. So your friendly local gaming store always provides. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, from like a cost effective point of view, the cheapest and freest way technically, I think is uh, it being actually a free game in yeah. the sense that these core rules over here, that costs nothing. Thank you so much. For no, and thank you so much for stopping by. It's yeah, a pleasure, for sure. Pleasure.